Hello everyone, welcome to Media Day. It's Patriot League Basketball Media Day, so it's almost time to get inside and watch the Lafayette Leopards, the defending Patriot League champions. I'm Gary Laubach, along with head coach Fran O'Hanlon. And Fran, this is your 21st year at the helm. You have all kinds of coaching records. You always say it's because you've been around so long. But I'm going to ask you a question that you have never been asked in 21 years of coaching. Uh oh. How do you replace three 1,000-point scores? Because <laughs> that's never happened before. Well, I, I'm asking a lot of people that have had that, uh, and they, they haven't had it, as you said. So it's not going to be easy, Gary. And, and we've been a couple weeks into practice right now. And by this time, I should have an idea who mm -hmm. are going to be our starters, and I don't. You know, I know who two of our starters are going to be because they started last year. So it's going to be an interesting, you know, couple weeks, couple uh, interesting season. Uh, and we are going to have to get better as the season progresses, Gary. You know, I know that's been, I think, a trademark of our mm -hmm. team, but I really do think that this is going to certainly happen because we have to be better than we were at practice, you know, the, the other day. And we're going to we're going to continue to develop. I understand, uh, obviously, uh, all the concerns. Uh, you went out and found yourself a couple of new assistant coaches. Uh, you named an associate head coach, so there's been a little bit of change there. I noticed Jimmy Fennerty, who, uh, whose father was Nick's uh, head coach at Germantown Academy. You brought him in. Uh, so there's an interesting mix. Talk, talk a little bit about the new assistant. Well, as you said earlier, you know, we lost three 1,000-point scores, and we lost a couple really good assistant coaches. Uh, but we are happy with the staff that we have. You know, Matt Blue has been here before. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we have bumped up, uh, you know, Pat Doherty uh, to associate head coach. And Jimmy Fennerty brings, uh, you know, so much, uh, you know, to the table as far as he's been a, a lifer as far as a basketball guy. His father's one of the best coaches in the Philadelphia mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. One of the best coaches in the nation, actually. And the other good thing about our team, having a two guards like uh, Nick Linder, and Bryce right. Scott, sometimes they know more than, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, our assistant coaches early because they have been through this for, for the last three or four years. One final question before we let you go. Uh, talk a little bit about the league. It looks very, very tough. Four teams with almost everybody returning on their roster. You guys picked six today, as we found out. Uh, it looks like a really tough challenge. Yes, uh, the league with the returnees, uh, I don't remember a league coming back with so many mm -hmm. returnees, especially that were at the top last year. You know, you're looking at Bucknell and Lehigh and, uh, and, and BU, all those teams were at the top. Army had a couple injuries uh, last year, uh, but they have everybody coming mm -hmm. back, and they're a handful. Um, so it is a, I think after you get past those four or five, um, first four or five, I think it's really a toss-up, you know, as far as, uh, you know, teams coming together. Some of the young guys have to kind of develop, and uh, it's, it's certainly going to be a challenge for the rest of the league. Well, we obviously look forward to the Lafayette men's basketball team on the Lafayette Sports Network. I'll be there, and I'm sure Fran will be working very, very hard. Thanks to head coach Fran O'Hanlon. I don't think you can talk Lafayette basketball this season without talking to Nick Linder. He's one of the co-captains along with Bryce Scott. And Nick uh, has spent probably every waking hour in the gymnasium. And in fact, confirm this story for me. I was told that as a uh, senior, that your parents had to take your car away because you were driving up to Lafayette to practice. Is any of that true or is that legend? Uh, I think it's just legend. I don't think they'd ever take my car away from me. But, uh, you know, there are definitely some instances where that's how they would ground me was taking my car away so I couldn't work out. And the grounding usually occurred, I think, because you were in the gym so often. You just love the game of basketball, don't you? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun to play, and, you know, playing for Lafayette makes it even more fun. Well, you're coming off uh, an MVP award in the tournament, averaged almost 24 points a ball game during the tournament itself, and obviously I'm sure no one is looking forward to the season more than, than you are. Talk a little bit about your own personal preparation, because I know every time I walked in the gym you were there. I mean, yeah, I try to prepare the same way. Uh, I try not to approach the game any differently just because we lost players. Mm -hmm. You know, I think my, my first goal is still to be a point guard and, and try to get others involved and, you know, not press the issue, just play my game. So, uh, you know, essentially I approach the game uh, this offseason the same way I did every other offseason. You now have some practices under your belt without the big three. The three 1,000-point scorers are gone. How difficult has it been to, to mesh with, uh, with the new players? Uh, not difficult at all, and I think that's, you know, from – you know, good leadership in our senior class, you know, Zach and Bryce, and, you know, I think they help us, uh, you know, energy-wise in practice. You know, the freshmen definitely did a good job of listening. You know, Coach always says uh, when, there's, um, when there's leaders, people have to follow, and I think the freshmen have done a good job with that so far. 
Well, I can't think of a better role model for the incoming freshman than this guy right here. We look forward to perhaps the most exciting player in the Patriot League for 2015-16 season. Nick, thanks for joining us, and I can't wait to see you on the court. All right, thanks a lot. Uh, for GoLeopards.com, I'm Gary Laubach. This has been the Patriot League Basketball Media Day.